All right, so I was just hanging out in my man area here in my shop, and I was trying to enjoy some VHS tape. I was actually watching some Flash Gordon. No, not that Flash Gordon. It's actually an older Flash Gordon. This is uh, from 1937. And, you know, these kind of tapes, they don't come available very often anymore. They're a little bit rare. And uh, anyway, I was enjoying the movie, and all of a sudden, after it was over, I tried to take my tape out, and it's jammed up in there. Now, this has happened before, and I did lose, actually, another tape that was an older Spawn uh, cartoon movie, which I've shown in a video before. And unfortunately, it got eaten up by this thing, and uh, I lost that tape. So I don't really want to lose this tape. Uh, so hopefully, we can pull this thing apart, and we can get the tape out safely. And we also see if there's anything that's keeping the tapes held in there. It doesn't happen all the time, but I definitely don't want to damage my machine by trying to pull the tape out uh, the front, and then I don't want to destroy the tape. So let's just take it apart and see what's going on inside. Before I take the VCR apart, I'm going to remove these labels and old stickers. I'm going to do some cleaning on it too, and I want to recommend you never use isopropyl alcohol on this dark, older plastic. The alcohol can actually eat at the plastic and kind of wear out the front coating and might end up with some splotching and discoloration that you can't fix. But usually Windex is a pretty safe substance to clean these old electronics. I'd also recommend that you spray the Windex directly on a towel and then wipe off the dirt from your electronic device. That way you won't spray too much directly onto your electronics. Now that my VCR has been cleaned up, I'm gonna go ahead and take the top shell off first. Most of the time, there's only a couple screws holding the top shell in place no matter what type of VCR you're working on. This unit only has four screws, and then the top shielding just slides right off. So we have a really high quality machine here that was obviously made by Sony. It was also in collaboration with Faruja Laboratories. At least that's how I believe it's pronounced. This VCR still commands a high dollar in the marketplace, especially if it's working. It's priced anywhere between $400 to $800 online. The reason for the high price tag is because it's a broadcast quality VCR with multiple outputs, including S-Video and Composite. It also has a built-in UHF VHF tuner. There's a lot going on inside this VCR, a lot of high quality gears and printed circuit boards, a lot of processing, and I really don't want to damage it trying to pull out an old Flash Gordon VHS tape. Well, the VHS tape is just sitting here like it's ready to be played. It's not wedged in in any way, and there's nothing jammed inside of it, which may have prevented it from ejecting. I'm guessing there's something different about this tape, just keeping it jammed in here and not letting it eject like a normal one. So it's still hard to tell what's holding it in place, and I definitely can't get the tape out just yet. Now this VCR will take a standard generic power cable, and then it's pretty easy to operate. We're going to power it on right now, and then let's go ahead and try to eject this tape again. So it appears to function normally and the tape comes up, but then I can't pull it out. It's a, I'm putting some good force on it and it's still just sticking and not coming all the way out. All right, so I've powered it back down, but it appears this tape has a strange um, flap on the bottom that's not on normal tape. So I'll try to show it to you when I get it pulled out, but it appears that on this safety catcher or safety device on the tape is actually catching on the bottom of my tray here that guides the tape in. So I think I just need to lift up that tray a little bit. Hopefully it'll come out now, but I still can't quite tell. That might... I thought that's what was getting caught on the bottom because it was. Oh my goodness, still not wanting to come out. Holy moly. Oh, so I finally got it out. Oh my goodness. 
So something to do with this side of the tape was getting caught inside my machine. Along this inside right hand side. Why don't we try a little falling down? Classic movie, but if this gets stuck, I might go crazy. I'm just gonna jam it in there. Let it go for a second. It's playing. Let's go ahead and hit eject and see what happens here. Hmm. Okay, so no problem at all there. Let's take a closer look at the side of these tapes. All right, so here we have these tapes, and I want to look at basically the physical makeup of these. First, here's the Flash Gordon tape, which is a lower production, meaning not highly mass-produced like the Falling Down tape would have been. The Falling Down tape actually feels a lot lighter, maybe half as heavy as this uh, other video that has Flash Gordon on it. However, if you look at them, they, they appear to be nearly identical. Uh, all the plastic is pretty well flush, and the setup on the side of the tapes is very similar. Just from looking at it, you really can't tell the difference uh, from this angle. And same thing from the top view of the tape. It doesn't look really any different. There's still the same molding cuts in it. However, this corner of the tape just kept getting hung up inside the VCR. I really feel like it has something to do with these tabs on the protective plate where the film is actually stored in the VHS tape. If you look at the Flash Gordon tape, you'll see a little lip uh, on a couple spots of the tape, which is not on the falling down tape or the mass produced tape. That's what seems to be catching on my VCR. All right, so that seems to be our problem. Just this little tab on this custom style VHS tape. So it looks like I managed to get the tape out safely. Of course, I won't be watching Flash Gordon again on this VCR anytime soon, but I do want to test this one out, so let's go ahead and hook it back up. Well, it's time now to retest our SVO put back together. Well, let's just stick with falling down and, hey, it comes right on, no problem. <laughs> I'm gonna give Michael Douglas a moment here to lose his mind on this poor shop owner. This is by far my favorite Michael Douglas movie. If you haven't checked out Falling Down, then uh, definitely do yourself a favor and watch it. Michael Douglas himself even said it was his favorite performance he's ever done. So you know that's gotta be worth something. So there's a lot of interesting stories about how this movie was even filmed because it was happening right during the LA riots in the early 90s in the middle of Los Angeles. It's a pretty controversial movie and definitely entertaining. As you're frequenting your Oh, please, 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 please come out of there. Don't get hung up. Well, that was pretty intense. Let's hope that Flash Gordon isn't going to be so brutal and destructive to my poor little Samsung VHS player. All right, the movie works, so let's see what happens now when I press eject on the VCR. All right, Flash, don't get caught up, don't get caught up. Woohoo! Standing up for my rights as a consumer. Okay, so this just seemed to be an extremely weird combination where this uh, kind of custom style VHS tape, which is probably what it is, since it's such a rare and uh, old movie, it's just been dubbed over here by somebody that specialized in that and they did use a different quality tape. As I said, it was heavier. It did have that clip on the bottom and it just didn't want to sit in my Sony SVO 2000 uh, without getting jammed. So if you have a VCR and your tape gets stuck, don't just try to rip it out. You might damage something internally inside your VCR that you can't repair or break something. So just take it apart and uh, make sure you're cautious while you do that. Get the tape out as safely as possible. Take your time. But these tapes do obviously work on other VCRs and have no trouble. So again, it just seemed like a weird combination. And if you're using a high-end VCR like this, then just you know take your precautions when, uh, again, using tapes that aren't standard. I'm Steve. Thanks for watching today's episode of Retro Tech. And I'll see you next time with some more retro content.